Welcome to our webinar, installing the trial version of Open Dental on a workstation. In this webinar, we will cover where to find the trial version, running the installer as an administrator, installation options, the Choose Database window, and fixing the tooth chart. If you need to install Open Dental on your server, please watch the Installing Open Dental on the Server webinar. The link can be found below in the description of this video. To find the trial version installer, we're going to go to our website, opendental.com. From here, click on Trial Version. We're going to scroll down to where it says Installation to a Workstation and click on the Trial Download here in Step 1. Your browser may vary on where it places the download. Google Chrome, for example, puts it in the bottom left. Once our download is finished, we won't run it from the browser. Instead, we'll navigate to the file location. From Google Chrome, we can click the up arrow and show in folder and that will take us to our downloads. To get here from Windows, we can simply open the File Explorer and click Downloads here on the left. The window may look like this when you open it. You can click on Downloads. From here, we're going to right-click and run as administrator. Now Windows may pop up this warning. Here we can push More Info and Run Anyway. You may get a pop-up to run as an administrator. You can hit yes on that. And you'll see this window here that starts extracting the files. Once the files are extracted, you'll see this window called the Open Dental Installer. For a workstation installation, make sure to use the Workstation button at the top here and verify that only the option for the Open Dental program is checked. A workstation installation does not require an installation of the MySQL service or the database as those are only required on the server. Once you've verified that this is the only box that is checked, you can click Install. And that will pull up the setup wizard for Open Dental. Here we can click Next. We can accept the end user license agreement and hit Next. Verify our installation location. The default is fine unless you specifically want to put it somewhere else. We'll hit Next. And we're ready to install. Now that that's finished, we'll hit the Finish button. And the installer isn't quite done. You'll receive one more pop-up that confirms the Open Dental program is installed. From here, we'll hit OK. It will tell us the installation is complete, and then we can now close this program and start Open Dental by clicking the shortcut on our desktop. So we'll close out of here, minimize out of our browser, and let me grab our icon. Now that the Open Dental program is installed on our workstation, we're going to run it for the first time as an administrator. To do that, we'll right-click on the icon and select Run as Administrator. We'll answer any pop-ups that may come up in the affirmative. And we'll see the Choose Database window here. In server name, we're going to put in the host name or the IP address of our server. In this case, I'll use mine. Next, we'll choose our database. The database will be Open Dental for the blank database or demo to work with the demo data. If a MySQL password was created, options will not show in the dropdown until the MySQL password is entered. The MySQL username is root, and the password, if created, will be entered in this box just below. There's a checkbox for Don't Show on Startup. It is optional, but it reduces the steps needed to open, den to open the software and can alleviate confusion for users. Once our connection settings look correct, we can hit the OK button here. Now that we're in Open Dental, the last thing we need to do is fix the tooth chart. Open Dental defaults to a simple tooth chart as part of its initial installation. To enable the graphical tooth chart in Open Dental, we're going to click and select File, then click Graphics. 
then change the preference to DirectX or OpenGL. This will allow treatment to display properly on your tooth chart. Graphic settings are unique to each individual computer and may vary between workstations. Thank you for joining us for this webinar. Please feel free to contact us if you run into any issues during installation.